And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome inside Wave Twin Rinks here in Burlington as the Blythe Academy Bruins getting set to host the St. Cecile Stallions. We've got U18 prep hockey on a Friday afternoon. Faceoff is coming up next on 519 Sports. As Pearson will flip it up for Wong at center. Here's Wong with Miller. Little give and go into the zone. Miller drops for Wong. What a move. A shot right on. Turned aside by Tremble. A battle for it on the near side boards. He gets it right back. And he'll reset out of his own zone. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Seattleis working his way in. Here he is, tight angle right on. Glove save is made, and Tremblay will hang on. It'll be kicked out. Here's Cameron. A drive save is made by Tremblay. And back out at center they come. Fanning on it. Oh, big hit in the open ice. Still a loose puck in the zone. Up top in the slot. It'll come back to the point. Played up top, walking in. There's a shot, Trump play the save. Excellent save. Loose puck will be picked up into the zone. Here they come. There's a shot right on. Glove save made by Peronic, and he'll hang on for a faceoff. Suchi, penalty coming. And that shot right on. Late shot coming. That's going to draw a scrum on the far side as after the whistle. That puck wired right on goal, and not taking kindly to that is Blythe Academy. Nonetheless, they will go to the power play here with 8.16 to go in the second period. Schmerda back for Seapolis. He lost it. He's got it back for Schmerda up top. Near side, Vandervin. Vandervin walks in a shot. He scores! Owen Vandervin on the power play, and Blythe Academy strikes first. The Bruins take a 1-0 lead here late in the second period. Able to get it free. It comes to Lima. Here's Lima. Nice move to the middle of the ice. Knocked off the puck. Six seconds to go. Time ticking away. Got to get a shot off. There's a tight angle shot. They score! With... Six tenths of a second left in the second period. Blythe Academy takes a 2 nothing lead. He'll spin back a couple of times in his own zone and throw it to the far side. Seapolis lost it. Here's Kiss. Kiss to his backhand. Looking. His shot right on. And Baronic makes the save and hangs on. Did Yuzel play it up at center? Here's Seapolis getting by his man. Seapolis in alone. Hit the post. Bana lost the handle on it down low. Good work by Marietsev. Spinning pass up top. Marietsev scores, and they're going to wave it off. The net was knocked off, and the official waved it off immediately. So they'll wipe that goal off the board. Ilya Marietsev that close to making this a one-goal hockey game with 11-19 to go in the third. But they say no goal, and the faceoff will come down in the Bruins zone. He'll flip it up. Little drop pass for Kiss into the zone. Kiss in behind the goal. Michigan tried to tuck it home, and he couldn't. Good alertness by the netminder, Baronic, and we got a penalty coming in behind the play. So 7.42 to go in this hockey game, and it's going to be a full two minutes of five-on-three action for St. Cecile. They're going to call their 30-second timeout and talk things over. Down two, looking to get right back into this one late in the third period. Dropped off into the zone, trying to cut to the middle. Still loose out front. That puck in, tight pad save made by Baronic. Brock Pets, far side, they work it. Near side, Kiss, winding up a shot right on. Save is made, and Baronic dives on the rebound. Kiss, stretch pass, Brock Pets in all alone, a shot blocker save made. Baronic, his best of the afternoon. McDonald back for it in his own zone. He'll start up at center. Seapolis with speed, splits the defense here. Seapolis in, he scores! The speed into the zone, and Seapolis rips it home. 3-0 Blythe Academy as the Bruins tuck this one away here with 2.17 to go in the third period. Final hurdle sound. That'll do it.
as the Blythe Academy Bruins get a big one on home ice. Excellent in goal all game long. Jacob Baranek with the shutout for the Bruins. The game winner, Owen Vandervan, scored the first goal of the game. That ended up to be all the Bruins needed for this one as they take it final 3-0 over St. Cecile. The team played really good, all of the four check, and it was really good. And uh, penalty killing was great, so they, they, made it, they made it easy for me. I had a really good warm up. I was, uh, I was early at the rink, like three hours before a game, so like the preparation was good. Well, I think we really came together on the penalty kill there at the end, uh, capitalizing our opportunities. Uh, yeah, I mean, penalty kill was just such a huge factor, and uh, I would say our four check was really good, and we really shut them down. Obviously, it felt great, especially after that first chance. I just wanted to get a quick shot off, catch the goalie off guard, because, you know, goalies are so good nowadays, you just got to put the puck you know, in open spots and get it off quick so they don't expect that it's coming. So, uh, yeah, just felt great, especially after that first chance. I just got a pass straight from our, uh, as we call him, the quarterback up top. Uh, he was covered. I saw some open space. I walked down, took a shot. I saw one man down. Pretty covered shot. I thought I had an opening and took it and it went in. Didn't know until everyone's cheering, so that's always better, you know. We got uh, great coaching staff, great GMs and stuff. We're allowed to get on the ice 24-7 pretty much. If we show up, we're on the ice, we're good to go. And it's just great access to ice time. And we have the gym facility. Just great to work out.